Great. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, it's good to see you, and thanks for your, your service, Commissioner O'Malley. Uh, and I want to thank the, uh, the chair and the ranking member for hosting the committee. Um, you know, I, I think almost all of us in our chamber support Social Security, and we want it to be uh, solvent and healthy for future generations. Uh, I wanted to ask a couple of questions. You know, w one just about wait times. Uh, we've heard from a lot of constituents in the state of Ohio that, um, you know, when, when folks are calling the 800 number, uh, they're waiting a lot longer than they used to. Hold time for callers in 2020 was 16 minutes. By 2022, it's 33 minutes. 2023, it's 38 minutes. Uh, that's according to some independent analysis that my staff tracked down. And I, I, I wonder sort of what's driving that. It seems like a pretty significant increase in wait times from 16 to 38 minutes in just a couple of years. And obviously, you know, that's... That's time, time wasted for a lot of people. Just curious sort of what's driving that or if you have any sense of what's causing it. Yes, sir. There's, uh, the agency started to move to a new integrated phone system shortly before the pandemic. When the pandemic hit, they stopped engines, said, whoa, we just need to be able to shut down all the field offices immediately, because a lot of people do call the field offices, sure. where, by the way, the, the answer time ranges between three and five minutes. But they needed to have an 800 number up and going right away mm -hmm. because they had kind of uh, moved away from the old one that had been operated by AT&T. And that required uh, a lot of shift. And uh, the long and short of it is, the 800 system that we have today has never fully lived up to what we were promised, especially when it comes to the business intelligence in the center of that system sure. that allows calls to be shifted, people to remain in line, to allow the sort of things that all of your constituents in, in Ohio would expect from any other 800 number, a call back if we're sure. too busy and those things. So we have struggled with that. Additionally, the system has never provided us with the sort of management intelligence or any that, that allows us to be able to better manage the, the workload, the peak times, uh, and distribute them effectively across our 24 different call centers and different time zones across the country. So, so can I ask, Commissioner, is there a plan to transition away from that 800 number system or to better better bolster it, make it more responsive? Like, wh how are you guys thinking about responding to the issue? We are, we are open to anything that will alleviate uh, this problem uh, as, soon as, we, as soon as we can. Sure. I was on the phone just two days ago with the CEO of Verizon, uh, who is the company that uh, uh, we contracted with the, uh, for, for this 800 number, and I'm hoping to get some word back from them uh, within the next 24 hours, having in very direct language expressed to them uh, the failure of their business intelligence to deliver as promised. There are other approaches, uh, one of which we are, are using uh, of uh, uh, call center as service, and that one it seems to have some promising results. And ultimately, as you can appreciate, where we need to head is to a system with modern customer relations management. So when that person in the telecenter gets a call from Mr. O'Malley, they're able to have the screen in front sure. of them, see what my concerns are, when I called before, not to have to ask me name, address, and social security number, all of those sorts of things. Uh, so uh, uh, those are some of the challenges that we've had. Having said that, at our last security stat meeting, uh, we ha had reduced the call wait time to 31 minutes. Now, it's nothing to write home about, but it's better than sure. 39 it's better, or 30. Better directionally, sure. Um, so I'm mindful of my, my limited time here, but uh, you know, we'd love to, to work with uh, your staff and try to address that issue. If you guys have particular ideas, certainly bring them to us because we'd like to be helpful. Um, and, and with that, I'll, I'll yield back the remainder to the ranking member and appreciate you being here. Thank you, Senator. Senator Fetterman. Governor, yes. good to see you again. And I just want to acknowledge you, you enjoyed a very strong bipartisan vote. 